I have two everyday carry setups. One that I have at work and one that stays with me at home. And today I wanted to bring you guys the differences between the two, what changes, what doesn't, and let's jump right into it. What I wanna start off with is four things, five things that don't change between my work and my home life. And the first thing that's gonna start that off is pens. The big idea design, titanium bolt action. And something I just got in, which is this guy. This is the modern fuel bolt action pen. And the bolt mechanism resides within the, the pocket clip here, which is pretty cool. These are the pens I've been using, absolutely love them. To go along with that same thought of carrying a pen is carrying a notebook. For me, it's gonna be the field notes, specifically the Chicago version. I really like it, it has a really good aesthetic and I've been carrying it for a while now. And what I love about carrying paper is during work, I take a bunch of measurements every single day. Throughout the day, I'm always taking measurements. And so for me, having something to write down measurements on is a really good way to centralize everything so that way it's not all up here. And at home is a really good place for all of my social media goals, content ideas, everything like that. It's just a good way to get everything down on paper, especially being in such a creative space. You want something that allows you to be as creative as possible. So for me, writing everything down in a notebook allows those creative ideas to flow a whole lot better than at a phone screen typing away. So for me, pen and paper are always on me no matter where I go. Now the next piece of gear is gonna be a pry bar. And this one specifically is the Lynch Northwest open door policy. And at work, I use a pry bar to open cans of roof tar, cans of duct sealant to scrape stickers off of units, all of the like. And at home, I have less uses for it, but I still find uses for it. Um, especially having a kid running around, my one year old son just learned how to walk. And so he's getting into everything and doing this type of thing being a, a content creator, I have packages coming left and right all day long. And so for me, if he's running about, I don't wanna run the risk of him bumping into me, stabbing something with the knife, cause he gets into everything. And so the more I can minimize that risk, the better for all of us. And so actually the, the edge here of the pry bar is just sharp enough where it can open packages, it can cut plastic, it can do all of that. So pry bar comes in handy in more ways than just at work. One of the last things that doesn't change is the wallet. So I always have a wallet on me, most of us do. And as of lately, it's been this one. This is the Tamarack coming out of Nalu Leatherworks company based out of Hawaii, my buddy Ryan, he does really amazing work. And I've only carried this for about a day now and it's already kind of showing some wares of patina. So I'm really excited to see how this patinas. And this is awesome so far. One of my favorite leather wallets that I've tried up to this point. The last part of my carry that doesn't change is the watch. So my watch is this Timex Expedition field watch. And this thing is almost indestructible. I have beat this thing to Tennessee and back and it is still holding strong up to this day. I got it about a year ago, put it through its paces and it shows almost no signs of wear. The glass here has almost zero scratches on it, which I'm really impressed by because it's a 35, almost $40 watch. So it's really expensive, but it's held up insanely well over the last six months. Definitely over the last year, but more so in the last six months. And so with that, that's all the stuff that stays the exact same. Everything changes from work to home life from here on out. Starting with the knife, or I should say knives. So the two that I switch back and forth with the most at work is gonna be these two. So I have a Benchmaker Tillion and a Kaiser Drop Bear. And for me, I need something at work that's gonna be rugged, that's gonna be durable, and especially a knife steel that's not gonna be insanely hard to sharpen. And so for me, S30V on the Benchmade Griptilian, it's fairly easy to sharpen and it holds up really, really well to use. I don't really feel the need to sharpen it throughout the day. I might hone it at the end of the day, but from my personal experience, an edge will hold pretty, pretty well during the day and even more so into a week. I can get a lot of use out of this edge, which I prefer not having to sharpen a knife every single day when I get home from work. And then on top of that, the Kaiser Drop Bear. 
is an insanely well-built knife, really good edge geometry, and it's just, it's a good knife to work with. You have aluminum scales, full steel liners, and a 154cm blade, which in my experience holds up. For work purposes go, you can beat 154cm to crap and it'll still hold an edge just fine from what I do with it, which isn't really extensive depending on the day. And so those are my two work knives and the knives that I carry outside of work are gonna be these two. So on the left here, I have the Wii Hyphen and on the right I have the Ferrum Forge Crux. I'm gonna start with this one, my newest knife acquisition. And what I've noticed is it's a Ferrum Forge design. So you have the Ferrum Forge Crux and it is very reminiscent of the Protec Mordax. It's the same profile all around as the Mordax. This is just a more slimmed down version. And then the Wii Hyphen. This has been my all around favorite knife over the last probably three months. And you have a really, really nice blade geometry, really good shape to it. I love a good harpoon. And then a really good overall profile. It is insanely comfortable to hold, um, even for a small knife. I think this is, the blade is just under three inches. And still, even with that, you can get a full, in my medium to large size hands, you can get a full four finger grip, no problem. And so for me, these are the two that I carry outside of work because the steel is really good. It holds an edge for forever. And you know, if I dull an edge, I'm already at home. I have access to my sharpeners. So for me, it's no problem to just touch that edge back up. Now flashlights. Flashlights is probably gonna be the biggest difference in performance and size versus from work to outside of work. And so for work purposes, these are my two go-tos. So uh, I have the Warrior 3S from Olight and the Baton 3 Pro Max. And both of these have almost identical outputs, uh, run times, all of that. They run on the same battery and uh, yeah, they have basically very similar performance. Um, only difference in why I carry either one is this one, if I'm doing a lot more handheld work at work, handheld work for my job, this one is a lot easier to man manipulate because of the tail switch. So you have half press gives you a medium, full press gets you that full turbo, sorry to blind you. Um, but if I'm using, you know, if I'm crawling through attic spaces, this one is gonna be my go-to because it is a lot easier to clip to the bill of a hat and I can use this as a headlamp a lot easier than I can use this. More so because this is massive and this is slightly less massive. So those are my two work lights primarily. And conveniently enough, outside of work, I have the mini versions of both of those lights. So I have the, the mini version of the Warrior 3S in the Warrior Mini 2 and I have the mini version of the Baton 3 Pro Max in the Baton 3 Pro. And for similar situations, if I'm gonna be doing a lot of handheld outside work, a lot of crawling around in the dark, you know, if I'm going camping, if I'm doing anything like that, anything outdoors, I'm gonna be taking the Warrior Mini 2. Be again, because of that tail switch, it's just really easy to manipulate. You get a half press for uh, the medium mode, full press for turbo. And for me, this is my go-to outside in the dark light. Now, if I'm, if I'm doing more ad admin type tasks, you know, stuff around the house, you know, if I'm just walking to go get the mail or something like that, I'm gonna take the Baton 3 Pro because it is a really, really small light. And this is my walk around the house in the morning light because you get half a lumen on the moonlight mode because half a lumen is my ideal amount of light in the mornings when I'm trying to navigate around my room and don't want to wake my wife up because she will get really mad at me because I start my days at 3 30, 4 o'clock in the morning. So the, the better I can see without having to run the risk of waking up the entire house, the better for me and the, the happier everybody's going to be. So the Baton 3 Pro and the Warrior Mini 2 are going to be my go-to lights outside of work for any daily tasks that I need. Now the thing that stays in my work carry that doesn't transfer over into my everyday carry is going to be a multi-tool. And the one I've been using primarily over the last little bit is gonna be the SOG Power Access. Now the things that I use most often on a multi-tool are gonna be both the needle nose, the regular pliers, the wire cutters, as well as 
the eyeglass screwdriver. And the last useful thing that I find during the day on a multi-tool that I don't get anywhere else is a file. Now I primarily use a file for shaving off the inside of breakers where they mount to the breaker panel because they don't always fit. And so I carry this at work, I don't carry it anywhere else because I don't have a use for it outside of work. And now we get to the last thing that changes between my work carry and my everyday carry outside of work. I always have a permanent marker on me of some kind, but at work, my choice is gonna be the Milwaukee Inksall because it writes on almost anything. These just hold up a lot better than Sharpies do. The, the felt tip on these doesn't wear out as fast, um, especially if you know I'm tracing out holes to cut into roofs, I'm tracing out mounting holes for stucco. There's a lot of things that tear up the felt tip on these pens and they hold up really insanely well. Um, so that's why I choose these over Sharpies. They also don't dry out as fast. So I, I can use these, I've been using this one for almost two months, consistently. And so that's why I choose the Milwaukee Inksall for work and why I save the Marksmith by Soul Built for everything at home. Doing YouTube, doing Instagram, doing all of these things, I get package co packages coming in left and right all the time. And especially if I'm doing an unboxing, filming, anything like that, I don't want my personal information or especially the, the personal information of whoever's sending it. I need something to cross it out. And so I always have this either on my nightstand or on my desk for any purposes of you know crossing out stuff like that. It's primarily what I use this for at home and it comes in handy a lot. And with all of that, that rounds out everything that is different between the stuff that I carry at work and the stuff that I carry outside of work. And if you've made it this far into the video, please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up because both of those things really help out this channel and it gets me closer to my goal of getting to a thousand subscribers. As always, let me know your thoughts down in the comments and what is your differences between the things you carry at work and the things you carry outside of work. And with all of that said, until next time, Peace.